All right, I'm doing this video and I hope I'm getting a good angle. I'm not actually, I'll just occasionally look over on the uh, screen here. But, and I did say that I was going to um, not do one until um, it had finished. But I've hit a brick wall and I've also, uh, I will finish. Um, but I will say that uh, I'm using also this to document hopefully as many of the mistakes that I've made. And there's been so many I'm actually going to go backwards. Uh, well, it, it's not like in a bad way, but I'm going to go towards, um, I think the Academy models, the one I did the SOP with Camel one, I think they do a spot or something. It was one of the things I was talking about in the previous whatever. Um, I will show the uh, thing in a minute or in a later video I did find a um, well in the live stream I was showing uh, one of the planes I wanted to do for the Ottomans and I found out that it's a Halberstadt or I'm pretty darn sure it is D5 the Ottomans used I think all of them or most of them or something anyways it's yeah it was a version of the D2 or something uh, this is all fresh baked out of the oven stuff for me okay so here we go with a bazillion mistakes um, and like I said, you'll see where the brick wall is. Um, I broke this piece just, just, just a little while ago, and this is supposed to connect somewhere with. Oh, it's okay. Here's uh, another thing to remember. I'm, I'm, I hope I remember is don't prime myself. I'm not going to prime until after I glue, um, or I'm not priming properly, or I'm not, or this is extremely old primer or something. But there's some. Oh, I remember I didn't wash. Anyways, even the primer's not sticking properly. Um, so it's been causing me, that's been causing me a bit of grief due to the fact that also when I go to re um, put, or put some of the parts in, which I was not practicing beforehand, um, then I would prime. So that's adding just a little bit more surface and then I go to stick it in. And now I'm having issues. Well, look how freaking finicky this is. I broke another piece somewhere else as well. I've broken so many pieces now, it's not funny. I also lost a piece because I wasn't paying attention or was using the wrong thing and not affixing the other end when it was going. It went, but gone. It's gone. So there's a lot of chunks of the tail that are gone. So I'm calling this a 100% learning experience model. I can tell you that much. Uh, this engine cap is supposed to be removable. I did so many mistakes gluing the bits. Um, for this instruction, remember it's a skill level three, my second, <clears throat> excuse me, a second model. Um, I ended up having to glue it with crazy glue because there was no way I could get it to ever fit properly. Oh my gosh, I know they wanted to show you all the beautiful engine parts in the middle and you can forget the propeller rotating ain't going to happen in my universe. Well, from here, but not from, you know what I mean? Not the whatever. That's not going to happen. Then... Oh, I broke another part here, uh, probably here, I re-glued it, and now when I went to go do, yet again, I primed all this way ahead of time, uh, which way does it go, I think this way, um, I, these are so crooked, I've got to, yeah, they go all over the place, um, They don't. so I'm going to have to, thank God it's plastic, in some ways I'm going to um, have to bend and wiggle like I said this is just going to be it's a learning experience um, any good things I could say lately well this is burnt orange which I kind of like I was going to go a little bit more um, uppity thing uh, I think the secondary color scheme I was going to or was looking at later that was kind of like a greenish or black or something and then yellow and then, yellow, and then they had a red uh, propeller and I guess engine cap um, I don't know what it is with my brain but I do not like red and yellow together uh, for me and my even like even remotely close um, like you would never get me to use for example the uh, Windows 3.1 hot dog theme there's no way um, so it's not gonna yeah, I'm not a Ronald McDonald fan as well um, so there you go um, it, this is a learning experience. Oh, yeah, on a side note, I've been watching a ton of Forgotten um, Aviation, uh, the Forgotten Aviation YouTube video uh, guy. Um, I would love to know if anybody knows why. Uh, why did Pusher 
uh, AV uh, pusher planes seem to go out of style. It just seems to me so like you don't have to worry about interrupter gear, all these other things. Um, it just seems amazing to me. I'm like you, you've got this beautiful clear view. Uh, you don't have the engine if like something goes wrong with the engine. You don't have like horrible radiator fluid going in your face and smoke and all that other stuff and the the sound is behind you and I, I don't I don't know or like I like I said I don't know on a side note I just watched uh, one of his videos on the uh, the DH2 and um, which is a pusher and I guess an exposed frame or whatever I, I don't know if you call it that and this is another thing I was which hopefully you guys will help me out with um, it seems like perhaps certain scales of uh, uh, are better for certain types of models. Like I'm thinking, for example, with all that rigging, which I think is extremely important to do with the DH2. Um, I don't know if I would want to try to do all that type of rigging with the a 172. At, well, certainly not at my skill level. Um, you know what I mean? So maybe a one to forty-eight would would be more appropriate for that. It's you know, it's just it's very interesting to uh, to find this out. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do some creative. Um, oh, sorry, like I said, I'm not even really watching. Um, I'll have to do some creative gluing and um, thing in whatever. But like I said, I wanted to like give you my um, and also uh, it's weird. I don't feel any um, which is just a wonderfully. Uh, refreshing feeling it's nothing like uh, with my miniatures I have absolutely it's almost like I feel naked uh, showing you my uh, all my blemishes and warts and everything with my um, uh, uh, gluing technique everything um, I, I have no f it's just so nice I just feel and uh, you know I'm just like you guys will help me out and so on and so forth and hopefully it's uh, more helpful in an odd way because I've there's been um, in many forums I've been on with uh, miniature painting, um, it's intimidating. And I've had, I'm just, a, I admire uh, certain people when I've seen them on them. And look, I'm not dissing what they do. But from my point of view, the, because they're painting for themselves, right? And, um, God, that bloody word. And, um, I just admire that they're just so, uh, they just go, they just throw it out there. They're just like, here, here's my figurines. And I'm like, wow, thanks, because it, it gets me to want to paint afterwards. I'm like, or actually post my stuff and, and share what I'm up to. Yeah, that's, yeah, this is it. So, um, yeah, it's weird to be uh, so, um, oh, yeah. I just wanted to show you the little, I don't know what this is called. It's starting to look like now like a little windsock. But I was like, I wanted to put uh, part of the German uh, flag in there. So I just stuck that to in at the end. Okay, that's it. I hope you're having a fantastic time and see you later.